Thorium is a naturally occurring radioactive chemical element with the symbol TH and atomic number 90. Thorium has a rich history dating back to the early 19th century when it was first discovered. In 1828, the Swedish chemist Jans Jacob Berzelius identified a new oxide, which he named thorium oxide, from a mineral sample sent to him by the Norwegian mineralogist Morten Frein Esmark. This marked the initial discovery of thorium as an element. Before starting the video, please subscribe to our YouTube channel for more engaging videos like this. However, it was not until 1885 that thorium was isolated in its pure metallic form by the Swedish chemist Matteo Dor Cleve. Cleve succeeded in reducing thorium to trachloride with potassium, resulting in the production of pure thorium metal. This achievement solidified thorium's place as a distinct element in the periodic table. Thorium is a silvery white metal that is highly ductile and malleable, making it suitable for various industrial applications. It is relatively soft and can be easily cut with a knife when in its pure form. Thorium is also pyrophoric, meaning it can ignite spontaneously in air when finely divided. One of thorium's notable properties is its high density, which is exceeded only by a few other elements such as uranium and plutonium. It is also a highly radioactive element, with a half-life of about 14 billion years for its most stable isotope, thorium-232. This long half-life contributes to thorium's persistence in the environment and its potential as a long-term energy source. In terms of chemical behavior, thorium exhibits a valence state of plus 4 in most of its compounds, although it can also form compounds with a valence state of plus 3. Thorium compounds are generally stable and have applications in various industries, particularly in the nuclear sector. Uses of Thorium Nuclear Reactors Thorium has gained attention as a potential alternative fuel for nuclear reactors. When thorium-232 absorbs a neutron, it transmutes into uranium-233, which is fissile and can sustain a nuclear chain reaction. This process, known as thorium fuel cycle or thorium-based nuclear fuel, offers several advantages, including reduced nuclear waste production and decreased proliferation risks compared to conventional uranium-based fuels. Alloys Thorium is used as an alloying element in various metals, including magnesium and aluminum alloys. These thorium-containing alloys exhibit improved mechanical properties, such as increased strength and heat resistance, making them valuable in aerospace and automotive applications. Gas mantles Thorium dioxide, also known as thorium IV oxide or thoria, was historically used in gas mantles for lanterns and lamps. Thoria has a high melting point and emits a bright white light when heated, making it suitable for illumination purposes. Catalysts Thorium compounds serve as catalysts in certain chemical reactions, particularly in organic synthesis and petroleum refining processes. These catalysts can enhance reaction rates and selectivity, leading to more efficient production processes. Environmental and safety considerations while thorium offers potential benefits as a nuclear fuel and in various industrial applications, it is important to consider environmental and safety aspects associated with its use. Radiation exposure. Thorium is radioactive and exposure to its decay products can pose health risks. Proper handling and disposal procedures are essential to minimize radiation exposure and prevent environmental contamination. Nuclear waste. While thorium-based nuclear fuels generate less long-lived radioactive waste compared to uranium fuels, the management of nuclear waste remains a critical concern. Safe storage and disposal methods are crucial to ensure minimal environmental impact and public safety. If you found this video informative, don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel for more engaging videos like this.